Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about the filtration coefficient. The glomerular filtration rate is uh, influenced by two factors. That is the filtration coefficient and the effective filtration pressure. According to the Starling's hypothesis, the glomerular filtration rate can be expressed as the product of filtration coefficient times the effective filtration pressure. If there is increase in the filtration coefficient, the glomerular filtration rate is increased. And if there is increase in the effective filtration pressure, also the glomerular filtration rate increases. Now the filtration coefficient has got two components or it is influenced by two factors. The first factor is the permeability of the glomerular capillary membrane. That is the permeability of the interface between the glomerular capillary and the Bowman's capsule. The second factor is the filtration area or the surface area of the glomerular capillary membrane. So the filtration coefficient is the product of permeability and the filtration area of the glomerular capillary membrane. The permeability is dependent on two factors, the size of the substance and the molecular charge of the substance. The permeability of the glomerular capillary membrane is, as I said in the previous slide, it is dependent on two factors and how these factors influence the permeability is uh, explained in the graph. This graph explains uh, based on the x-axis which shows the size of the substance which is the molecular diameter in nanometer and the y-axis explains the fraction of the molecules filtered. And three substances are um, being used, the anions, neutral and the cationic substances. The graph explains that any substance um, with a molecular size less than four nanometers are freely filtered. And if the substance has a molecular uh, weight or a diameter or molecular size of more than eight nanometer, then it is not filtered at all. It shows a zero permeability. Now, the filtration of molecules having diameter between 4 to 8 nanometers are inversely related to the diameter and also depends on the charge of the substance. So, with the same molecular weight or molecular size of the substance, there is increased permeability to the cations followed by neutral and the least permeability is to the anionic particles. Now, why there is least uh, permeability to the anionic particles is because the cell coats of the filtration membrane, that is the endothelium basement membrane and the cell coats of the podocytes are all polyanions, which are negatively charged. And they are the glycoproteins, which are rich in sialic acid and called as um, CLO proteins. So they repel the anionic substances uh, between uh, the diameter 4 to uh, 8 nanometers. So anions are repelled, so they are less filtered or the permeability of the glomerular capillary membrane to the anions between the size 4 to 8 nanometers is less. Now, this explains why albumin with a molecular diameter of uh, 7 nanometer is not filtered because it is negatively charged and is repelled by the polyanions. Now, if there is in any disease like in nephritis, the polyanion coat is altered or the ch negative charges in the glomerular wall is lost. And in that case, the permeability to the anions will be increased. And this causes increase in the filtration of proteins or albumins causing proteinuria or albuminuria. The second factor is the filtration area of the glomerular capillary membrane. What can alter the surface area or the filtration area of the glomerular capillary membrane is the glomerulus contains mesangial cells which contain the myofilaments um, and may contract. So in case of contraction of the mesangial cells, it leads to decrease in the filtration area or the surface area available for filtration and this would decrease the filtration, ultrafiltration coefficient and in turn decrease, cause a decrease in GFR. 
and the opposite is seen if there is a relaxation of the mesangial cell which causes increased filtration area of the glomerular capillary membrane and this would increase the filtration coefficient and increase in the glomerular filtration rate. In a course of disease with the destruction of the nephrons, the number of functional nephrons will also be reduced. So reduction in the total number of uh, functional nephrons will also cause the reduction in the total surface area of the glomerular capillary membrane and this may also reduce the glomerular filtration rate. The table here shows the factors which alter the filtration area of the glomerular capillary membrane. We have certain factors which cause contraction of the mesangial cells and this would decrease the filtration area of the glomerular capillary membrane and which in turn will decrease the filtration coefficient and the glomerular filtration rate. The factors include endothelins, angiotensin II, antidiuretic hormone, platelet-derived growth factor, thromboxin A2, prostaglandins like PGF2. Now, few factors can cause relaxation of the mesangial cells and increase the filtration area of the glomerular capillary membrane, which would increase the filtration coefficient and this will increase, cause an increase in the GFR. The factors include atrial natriuretic peptide or ANP, dopamine, prostaglandins PGE2 and cyclic AMP. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel Simple Concepts in Medical Physiology for more videos.